Hey kids, so a quick video just giving you a heads up on where I'm at. I'm in Vegas. I'm on my way back to Ventura to take a much needed break uh, to clean out the car, to get a job, make some money, um, just take a breather. Spent a whole month living in my car, living in a tent, driving around, seeing uh, priceless. What I've experienced in a month's time is priceless. Um, I had a bit of a bad ending there, uh, a job I had planned to help me get to the next journey, leg of my journey didn't pan out. And I went through a very terrifying time of no money, no gas, no, no sure, not sure what I was going to do. And help came. Thank you. Thank you. God, help always comes. And, um, and now I'm on to the next leg of my journey, which, and my life, which is, going to Ventura. I'm currently in Vegas. Yesterday I drove through Utah. Holy cow. Guys, I'm going to tell you there are certain places that, and I'm sure the whole world has this, you know, certain places that just, just a drive through is a mind blow. And, uh, yesterday I drove on highway 15 and just busted. I went through Idaho and Utah all in one day. <laughs> I was tired when I got here. Um, it was 113, 113 when I got here yesterday in Vegas. Holy cow. Wow. I don't know how people live here. And, um, yeah, and it, Utah, you know, you see this picture behind me. Yeah, especially the Zion area. Even if you're just driving on the freeway, it's, it's, you can't not be like, wow, you want to stop and take pictures and pictures. Well, I want to stop and take a hundred pictures. Um, the beautiful mountain scenery around Salt Lake and that area, I mean, the, the mountain range that just runs alongside, God, it's just, Utah's a beautiful, beautiful state, and I only saw a small section of it. Um, it's really the geological upheaval that has uh, shaped the western U.S., the the volcanic flats with all the geysers and the stinky um, mud pits and that bubble and then these crazy canyons these amazing canyons that some of them were carved out by glaciers and like Yosemite and um, glacier <laughs> and some of them are um, just old volcanic activity that was buried under the ground and then over the years the eroding away of the ground the surrounding ground and then it left behind these amazing sculptures like devil's tower and um gosh what else god there's so many and i'm not really sure what geological upheaval created this amazing area like zion and grand canyon and all of those stunning stunning areas but it, it it just for me when I'm going through there I feel small I feel so small and I'm in such awe oh my god I'm in such awe and I'm gonna tell you guys I drove down dirt roads <clears throat> that didn't really have a name or anything other than like a2 that was their number or whatever and <laughs> those backwood areas should have been a national park unto themselves. There, it, it 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 just was so amazing, and just to set up my camp in the middle, um, my campsite in the middle of that, and it's not even a campsite or anything. It was just I had to stop and stay there for a day and just absorb in that the the amazingness that nobody was seeing and nobody was around, and yeah, it was a little unnerving, but it you know I no part of this trip was I hurt? No part of this trip was I ever, you know, I'm always saying the universe has got my back. And there's many times in my life where I could be hung up in this, in, in, oh my God, da, 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 when you get to the other side of it and you'll see you were fine. The universe had you. And it may have had you in the way of a family member coming and saving your ass and giving you money or, you know, uh, the perfect doctor at the perfect time, or, you know, there always seems to be these fortuitous situations that happen. 
And this entire last month has been nothing but fortuitous situations, running into the right people at the right time, uh, having somebody tell me about some place called Quake Lake and going and seeing it and having it being one of the, the most amazing things I've seen. And it alone is in a national park and it should be. Um, and, you know, just a lot of learning about myself and who I am and maybe why I behave a certain way and maybe why I make decisions, crazy ass decisions like this, like taking off for a month. Um, and you know, here at the end, I had, a I had a situation happen that really scared the shit out of me. And, um, it's what prompted me to head back to Ventura to take a breather and take a break and reevaluate things. And it's good because Ventura is a place of, you know, California is, it's my heart. Yeah, I born and raised California girl. Um, every time I step out of California, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the umbilical cord is pulling. <laughs> it's stretching. I got to go back to my mama, California. <laughs> um, and Ventura, especially because I've lived, uh, you know, a huge portion of 30 years of my life in Ventura. And um, it's on the beach. It's a beautiful place to live. And it's it's definitely a great place for me to go take a breather, reevaluate things. And my grandbaby's there. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Grandbaby kisses is always a great thing. So, yes, heading back. Um, and just really being grateful for this stunning, stunning journey I got to share with everybody. The journey's not over, right? There's a great saying, I'm not sure who the author is, but it's wherever you go, go with all your heart. And you know, you, you have your own definition of what that means. I have my definition of what that means. And I love it. I love that, um, you know, we do the best we can with who we are in this now moment and the ever drive to be better and better, better is there, um, to learn more, to know more, to explore more. It's, it's always, always there. And I, you know how Facebook brings you your memories every day, you know, it's like 10 years ago. Yeah. And I loved looking back on the memories I had today because, um, back in, 2015, I walked across the Grand Canyon with a fantastic group of ladies, and I got to see some of those pictures today, and that was awesome, it, it, and it's, it's kind of fortuitous that I'm this close to the Grand Canyon, and those pictures came up, um, and then there's also some pictures of some great hikes that Nikki and I did nine years ago when she was a little more vibrant, <laughs> she's sleeping right now, she's ready to hit the road, uh, and it, it was a lake called Lake Aloha up in the desolation wilderness of Lake Tahoe. And uh, they're great pictures. They're just seeing Nikki all yellow instead of white like she is now. We all are a little white. Yeah, we got some grays going on. Um, the, it, you know, it's, it's wonderful to look back and, and see that my whole adult life has been journeys, adventures, adventures, adventures. I like the word adventure better than journey. Adventure, adventure, adventures. It's always been adventures. And so part of me was in a little bit of a, mm, I don't want this to end. And it's like, it's not ending. It's never ended. No matter what I'm doing, whether I've moved up to the mountains and lived where I had those kind of hikes right off my front door, or I've lived on the beach where I have to go drive to get to those kind of adventures, um, or just go play on the beach or whatever. The, the journey never ends. It, it, and I love that. I loved that reminder to myself that, yeah, this particular journey that you just did end it is ending and, and it's ending in a good way. I can't tell you guys, huge, huge relief to, to get, home, um, to, uh, you know, put my feet up, to shower, to get out of my car, to think, you know, I'm going to tell you guys, my Subaru 2015 Forester has been a champ. It, 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 what I just put it through this last month, wow, 
and it is it it deserves some love. It deserves to get back to Venter and have a little love itself. Um, so I'm really I'm excited for whatever's coming. Friend of mine has a great saying, and it's I love who I am. I love where I am. I love where I've been, and I love where I'm going. And I, I love that. And I was really using that yesterday. Um, I, lo- I do love who I am. The, the person I am, the adventurous, um, kind of flying by the seat of my pants, uh, I, confident, definitely very confident, uh, maybe sometimes too much so, I don't know. Uh, hard to pin down. I love that. I love her. I love her. Um, I, there's, I, I don't want to be the person that needs to be saved. I don't want to be the person that makes dumb decisions and has to be saved. I, I, that person I don't want to be, but I do love the rest of me. Um, I love where I am. Yeah. You know, 54 years of wow, really 54 years of just a life of wow. And I could sit here and go, oh, well, this sucked. And when I was a child, blah, 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 blah. But it was all a journey. It was all an adventure. It truly, truly was. Every part of my life shaped who I am today. And I love her. And the other day I went through a, a, a quite a terrifying situation. And I still came out the other side okay. I'm, I'm okay. It's like, are you all right? Yeah. And I'm okay because I have a family that loves me and they're there for me. Um, I love where I've been, you know, same thing. If I hadn't been where I've been, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I love her. Um, I love where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going, but I know up to this point, it's been a kick in the pants. (laughs) And so that ain't going to stop. I know that much. My, I, I don't think I could ever be a person who could live a boring life. I, I would probably get cancer and die because I, I can't be that person. Anyway, guys, love you all very much. So excited for the next leg of our journey. Um, yeah, send me a, send me a, a note. Bye.